Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sunny. And I am back with another intuitive general message. Hopefully you guys are doing good. I am tired as hell. I am recording this on the 4th of May 2016. And it is 7.41 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, to everyone who has ordered a special, thank you so much for your patience and your time. I am still doing specials. I have 28 more to go. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I miscalculated how many specials I had the first time. I had a lot. I had a lot. You guys, I love doing my specials because you guys really like them. But from now on, they are just going to be like MP3 or typed because video. I love, you. love you too. Because video is just like oh my god it's just so much and plus I want to get back to like having time <laughs> to do shit and like recording like full monthlies cause I do notice that or I did notice that like you guys missed those what else can I announce I don't know I don't know what else I can say if you guys really give a fuck, my life has been pretty cool. Um, finding a balance with everything, healing with everything. Um, yeah, I'm just pretty blah right now because I'm very tired. I am reading um, reversals now, so that's fairly interesting. But let's get to the point because you are here for a reason. Um, we have something special going on towards the end of the week on the 6th we have a new moon in Torres so really good time for you to get your hoodoo your voodoo whoop, your manifestations on if you are into that deal just be careful of what you wish for okay and be mindful of what it is that you're asking for same thing so wishes asking just make sure it's legit because it's going to grow it's going to grow um be mindful and also be mindful of your actions and thoughts during this time okay um also with this weekend many of you you may be more ambitious and just you're seeing the reality within things you're seeing like you're seeing the potential within yourself or with someone else and you really want to make things work yeah cool um also next week the ninth Jupiter goes direct, so everything should be a little bit better, especially when it comes to career. Um, things may pick up a lot for some of you. It just depends upon what's going on in your charts. Yeah, uh, the angels are saying on a scale from 1 to 10, like the speed of things, like from a 5 to 7. So, yeah, I'm picking up generate. So, many of you, you are going to generate a lot. Um... Also, you may find I love you more. You may find that you are more lovable or creative after the ninth. So that is always a beautiful thing. And many of you, you are going to have great epiphanies um, towards early next week, around the ninth, like the through the eighth, the eighth through the fifteenth. I'm picking up that many of you, you may have a lot of visions, deja vu's, epiphanies. Your dreams are going to be more clear and give you messages that you need to move forward so that's always awesome please be aware of you being more generous than usual after the ninth to be honest because that may burn a hole in your pocket but let's see six cards for everyone all over the world important messages for everyone all over the world six cards Okay, so I'm picking up that many of you, your your main focus is on money and stability during this time. I do feel like something has, the maybe Mercury in retrograde and all these other damn planets in retrograde. But it's like you're struggling to keep afloat. You're struggling to keep pushing. You're struggling to keep the, to get what you want. I've seen that you're going to have to work very, very hard to get 
to get the things that you want it's not impossible it feels like it's impossible but it's really not impossible you're just gonna have to put in a lot of hard work like for real um, and I'm seeing that this is affecting those with earth and fire within their chart um, and maybe some water signs as well I'm also picking up that some of you you have a lot on your shoulders I'm hearing you have a lot on your plate there may be some shoulder problems going on for some of you especially if you have a blue collar type of job or you have like you're manufacturing a lot like very productive type of job I don't see that there may be some traveling delays many of you you want to move I'm hearing you want to you want to uh, just travel and it's just like I don't know where I'm going I don't care where I'm going I just don't want to be home some of you you don't feel you don't feel happy with home and you want to move please be cautious of you rushing into like moving into homes and like you're signing leases and stuff like that I, I mean you can do what you want you grown everybody grown but just you know make sure that you aren't doing it to like run away from your problems or to like a quick fix because I'm picking up that many of you you are looking for quick fixes whether it's rebound with relationships uh, get rich quick schemes or like you just wanna like maybe party drink smoke whatever you are avoiding a situation many of you you may be feeling lazy and you may not be cleaning up your home um as much as you usually do however i am picking up that some of you you are on a cleaning spree like you're becoming a, a clean freak you're getting rid of clothes you're mopping sweeping the wall like and mopping and not mopping you're wiping down the walls like you're doing everything i'm picking up that if you've randomly decided to go on a cleaning spree and you cleaned up everything in your home you you got rid of clothes I'm thinking of that you're making room for something new whether this is a relationship a child or some sort of happiness that's going to come into your life so that's really interesting especially if you've done this within the last three weeks or within the last month um, I'm thinking of that many of you you're waiting on some good news but you feel as if you aren't going to Asia what are you doing well, it's your fault. Messing with that candle. I don't know what she's doing. My cat is so crazy. Um, I do feel like there may be some issues going on with children. I don't know what I was saying before. That Asia distracted me. Um, there may be some issues going on with children. Maybe you aren't seeing eye to eye with children. Or you feel as if children isn't paying attention to you during this time. Especially if they have some fire and water sign within their chart. Um, I am picking up that many of you, you are becoming very impatient with like waiting for things. It's like you, you aren't getting that call back. You're waiting for someone to hit you up. You're waiting on some sort of money to come in. Give it some time, honey. Just give it some time. Many of you, you may discover past people, past lovers, past situations, past karmas coming back into your life. You're going to have to handle it in a different way. Don't walk away from it. I feel like you need... Asia, what is you... What is you doing? Hmm. Um, you may have to don't turn your back on it. Like if someone from the past comes back, like understand why they're coming back because there's a common core that you need to go through with this person. Maybe there was a lack of closure if you think about it. Maybe you guys ended on bad terms and you made yourself get closure with this person. So maybe it's going to be a really good time for you guys to, I guess, whenever the time is right, talk about what happened. Say, hey, I still love you, or hey, I moved the fuck on. Like, whatever is best for you in order for you to break this cord. I do, yeah, I do feel like silence needs to come. Like, they're breaking silence. Being aware of things. Being more truthful. Allowing for past hurt, regret to to move away from your life I feel like people may not want to talk about it like it's gonna be very awkward but it will allow for you to become a better person and it will allow for you to gain a beautiful lesson if you guys do talk about it with your um with past lovers past friends or you deal with the situation that hasn't been dealt with 
um, some childhood issues are definitely going to come up. You may go back to your hometown or you may get in contact with your, one of your parents that you haven't spoken to in a while. Or I'm picking up you're discovering family roots. You're discovering where you came from. So that's really interesting. I do, <clears throat> excuse me, I do feel that many of you, there will be some, a lot of bills. A lot of bills. Unexpected bills. And you're just like... Where did you come from? Many of you, like, you may get bills from eight years ago. To be honest, like, or maybe loans, student loans. Child, don't. Don't speak them up, Jesus. <laughs> um, I do feel that many of you, you want to protect what's yours, or you just want to, like, protect your money, protect your body. I'm, I'm picking up during this Mercury retrograde. If you go back to past lovers, like recent past lovers, it may not work in your favor. I hate to say. Under, like, just tell this person, hey, you still need space, whatever. If you really want it to work, just wait till June, the June fourth. Wait after that, cause um, no, that's not going to be good. Especially if you want it to work, give it some time, because you and this person are still going to be at odds. Especially if you and, and or your mate is having career and or money issues. I do feel that some of you, there may be uh, some issues going on with attention. Maybe you feel as if you aren't getting the, this, getting the attention that you deserve. Or you feel as if someone has short attention span. Like they're, ooh, they're hopping from partner to partner. What is this? Okay, so... Important messages for my earth signs or just people who are wanting abundance. I'm hearing seek closure within something. Many of you, you're going through an issue that your mother that your mother went through. My my earth sign women. Maybe your mother had a tough time with love. Or there was a lack of money with your mother. Maybe your mother struggled and you're dealing with this. Like you need to find closure within that. Like if you have ways of making more money, then you definitely need to do it. You definitely, definitely, definitely need to do it. Please be aware of you being, like be mindful of lust and love. Because I'm picking up that puppy love will not do you guys any justice during this time relationships just everything just seems weird we're in mercury retrograde and we have a lot going on but with mercury retrograde it's all about redoing revising understanding relearning blah 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 all that stuff um in order for you to find a better outcome <clears throat> excuse me in order for you to find a better outcome the outcome card is upright and it is the knight of pentacles so Things will work in you guys' favor. Just be patient. I do feel like you need to be more depend. You need to depend more on yourself. And if you do need help, ask for it if you want to. But I feel like many of you, it's like you don't really want to ask for help. You're just like, mm, I, I'd rather struggle on my own. You're letting your pride get in the way. But like, if you really do need help, then motherfucker, you, you do need to ask. I will say. Um... Everybody is going through a karmic time. It's okay. It's normal. There's a lot of waiting. There's a lot of delays. Um, things are not going planned. People are not acting the way that you want them to act. It's okay. It is okay. Let's see what's going on with love for my certain signs. Okay. Love for my fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sis. what's going on with love for my fire signs? First card on the top. All right, my fire signs retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So many of you, you may be going through a break or you maybe um, you're just kind of over love right now. Or you or maybe you and your mate are um, you're going on a retreat and you're taking a. A little mini vacation just the two of you so it really just depends or you may discover that people are growing distant with uh, from you okay love for my water sign cancer Pisces and Scorpio love for water signs deception I what did I hear 
I heard something, I can't remember, but it had something to do with deception. I can't think of what I was thinking. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And maybe you or someone else, if you are getting signs that, hey, someone isn't being true, <clears throat> take that as, a, uh, take that into consideration. Because you will discover the truth. And someone else about you will discover the truth. Okay. Air. Love for air. Aquarius is Gemini's and Libra's. Love for air signs. New love. I heard too good to be true. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, enjoy this person. Get to know each other. Take things slow and see where it goes. Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What's going on for love with my earth signs? Okay. Passion. I heard the song Hey There by Des Love. Um, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So many of you, you may be looking for passion. Maybe you are getting some sort of a uh, passion. Maybe you're getting some admirers during this time. Beautiful, fun, 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 fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this message. Good luck with everything. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.